today what I'm going to be doing is, and this was on a recommendation, who said to me, have you tried using desiccant silica gel throwaway little balls in resin? I've collected quite a few of these up. I've got them in a bag here. I'm going to be trying them using my resin jewellery making kit. I haven't got much of this left now because I've made quite a lot of projects with this. And don't forget this kit comes with the resin and with the damming tape. I just want to show you really the different things that you can make with this kit and how easy it is to make things. I'm using a separate piece of silicon here because I have lots of silicon mats that I either cut up small or whatever so that I can move it out of the way while I get on with something else. All you have to do when you're doing this, I know I've shown this in a lot of videos, but you might not have seen those. If you have, then you just skip forward this bit. If not, then this is how I attach my open bezel to the damming tape. Because it's really important that you get a great seal. If you don't get a great seal, then you will get leaks. Now, I often get leaks, but I don't really care about that. Once you've got those on there, is I turn them over. I either use my finger or I use a wooden stick and I just burnish around those edges to ensure that it's nice and adhered to them as much as it possibly can. Just that little few seconds doing that, you will find that that will really make a big difference. Now, where you haven't got them individually, just turn the whole thing over like that and go around, burnish them. Now, this jewellery kit is a really great kit. It's superb value for money, as you'll probably know from the reviews and different people and the comments that people have made who've already purchased this kit. You get a lot with it. You get all these bezels and the molds plus the resin plus mica powders plus the damming tape and some little mixing cup you get loads of stuff with it and what I've been doing is I've been making videos on showing you different methods that you can use with this jewellery kit to get the most out of it. I've got those all set up. The little moulds I'm just going to pop there. And now I'm going to mix up my resin, put a little bit perhaps of colour in it and then chuck these balls in and see what happens. I'm not sure if these clear balls will just disappear in the resin, but who knows? These are the little cups you get as well. I'm just separating a bit of resin off to one side here because what I will be doing is adding just one drop of a transparent colour to see if that really does anything. And now I'm just adding the desiccant balls. If you'd like to buy me a coffee and get your name on my coffee board for next month, then the link for that is in the description. I'm saving up for a 3D printer laser cutter. So I'm mixing all that in now, and as you can see, it has coloured it up a little bit, but not overly coloured, because I don't want to lose the balls. And I'm just popping that into the bezels using the stick as a spoon, and making sure that I get it right to the top and into all the corners. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members. Thank you very much for being a member. The community is brilliant, grown really well. And the sessions that we're doing on how to start a small business is going really, really well. So thank you. So again, the same with the one without the colour in, just pushing it in there, going over it with my long neck lighter to pop any bubbles. And then what I'll do is I'll leave it to cure up. Well, these have all cured now, and from looking at them, I'm actually really pleased with them. I thought they would just disappear, but they haven't. They're like little pearls inside. I really like that. I've got a little bit of overpour, but I can just pull that off with my nail. Let's take the rest off. Now, I did get a little bit of leakage on that one, and as I said before, I'll show you how easy it is to get it off. You just pull it off. And that's it. Done. All nice and clean. Won't hurt these bezels at all because they're good quality bezels. That wasn't leakage, obviously. That was where I was clumsy with it. So let's take these out. And that's a little bit of overpour again because I do tend to overpour. And if I get a boat of overpour, I just use a pair of scissors and I trim it off while it's still not 100% cured because it's still a little bit soft because resin does take a few weeks to get to its complete hardness. I absolutely love how that one's come out. It looks like little white pearls in there. You could dome these and get another different kind of magnified effect, but actually I quite like them as they are. I will link all the tools and everything that I use today in the description below because it really makes life so much easier if you've got the correct tools and they're not expensive at all to buy. Let's just get these done. Now I'm going to pop a jump ring on this. I'm going to put a black cord on this one. I'm going to start popping some of my jewellery onto my website because uh, I've got so much that I've made up. Sell it off at just silly prices, I think. When I say silly prices, I don't mean expensive. <laughs> 
And then with these ones, I'm going to use some push bales for these or pinch bales or whatever they're called. And I'm going to use a simple one on this rather than an elaborate ornate one. That's those two done. And I think they look really, really pretty. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. I, I think this is such a cute idea. And just something a little bit different. And it comes free with most things. It's cost you nothing to add that and do different things with the jewellery kit as well. All nicely finished off. It just goes to show that there's so many more techniques out there that we can use to enhance our resin jewellery and have fun with our resin jewellery and get some beautiful results. And please remember to hit the thumbs up because it really does help my videos to get out there and it makes me smile every time I get a thumbs up. It makes me happy. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos and get your name on my coffee board, then the link for that and the link to everything that's been used today is in the description below. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.